guys so happy father's day to the fathers out there and the single moms who does the job for both this is gonna be another crying video I'm afraid around this time 2013 I would have had a nice, healthy, mostly baby boy or girl. But it wasn't meant to be. Twenty twelve I was on top of the world. I had a young man that I was madly in love with. I'm still madly in love with, even though sometimes I despise him. And I had just gotten news that I was gonna be a mommy again. As a proof of my our love for each other. Uh, I was going so hard people everywhere complimented me and said such good things that moment will only be a week and a half the following weekend we went to sleep me and my partner we went to sleep we held each other he went to work and I went to the bathroom. I had a bad nightmare. And when I went to the bathroom, there was blood. It wasn't strong blood. It wasn't bleeding. Just like a little spotting. I went to the hospital. They congratulated me, did the blood work, did the urine and it took a while for them to realize why I was in the hospital. I just finally, hours later, I got an ultrasound. And there was nothing there. There was fragments coming off of the wand. I was told to do a follow-up on, I think that's when they did the road work, do a follow-up on Monday. Needless to say, I went to the hospital by myself, and my partner did not meet me there. I went Monday again by myself. My blood work had spiked. I had uh, my first OBGYN that week, Wednesday, and he was there. And they did the ultrasound, and it was nothing. I would be going through that nothingness from November to the second week of December when they finally saw a mass five centimeters long on my right ovary. I was supposed to be lucky to be that they caught it in time so that they can give me an ejection to make me abort my baby. I still had to go through a lot of tests between those times. The fetus did not dislodge out my body until January. And that's when my levels went down. Needless to say, the relationship was already a strain. And it we became more distant toward each other. I blamed him. He blamed himself. I blamed myself. We attacked each other. He he held on to others outside. 
and that was his coping mechanism. I had no one but him. So I had no coping mechanism. And here it is, two years later. And when it comes close to June, I become paralyzed, almost. Sadness overtakes me. Regardless of what I do. And I get so, I get so angry seeing pregnant women some people, women who don't even deserve to be pregnant and I get so sad I see little babies why do those women who do not deserve old women and crackhead women drug addicts and homeless women deserve to bring forth life into this world. But yet, my baby had to die. And this probably wasn't the first, but that was the only one that registered. We could have had lots of kids between our year and a half relationship. There were times where I had a lot of symptoms of having a miscarriage. When I first moved to Texas, I I hemorrhaged for over a month. I was hemorrhaging for a month straight with no release. And I hadn't had a cycle for nine months but the doctors never found anything. So, maybe one day the pain will go away and I won't feel it anymore. I won't feel the hurt. I won't feel the anger. I won't feel blues. I feel happy for those that I see walking with belly bees in their bellies. And I'll feel happy for those little ones running around and not want to withdraw and hide and or any of that other stuff. But it's not today. Happy birthday, Star. I love you.